there are a few things that I believe. Uh, one is draw as many lines as you can. One of them should be right. <laughs> so all I have to do is choose later. And then I'll do with the masses, which will help me. Because once line only shows you the drawing so much, and then the masses show you the form in a different way, so it changes the drawing, the values change the drawing. Like I do think that uh, painting is very physical and I like moving all over. So this is a fun way to start and this is how I do usually start once I have the drawing more nailed where I'm just throwing in color. It's a time to have fun uh, and it's a time to get movement. It's the time to get the feeling that you first started nailed down through the color and the movement and the line and the physicality of it. I start out very loosely and I didn't always, I used to start out very, very tightly to hold the drawing together, to hold everything together and now because I know if I stand there long enough, I will get it. <laughs> so to counteract my sort of tightness, no, <laughs> my uh, emphasis on detail, right, I do very loosely in the beginning so that I can get everything moving and have as many possibilities and leave it as open as possible. The way that I work is I go from values that are close together and I move them this way as I paint. A lot of people start with their lightest light and their darkest dark. That doesn't work for me. I have to bring it, I mean it's okay for me to make a couple of notes of light and dark, but I like to bring it this way. Um, I think that creates more harmony in the long run.
most of my paintings, I think, have to do with some kind of um, strength versus fragility issues and oblivion and sexuality and females. Um, so I'm very conscious of that as I'm moving around. And, and you'll notice I really move around the canvas, that I try not to stay in one spot. And I've learned that the hard way, because I can see things better if I move around, you know, and come back to it. And I can see that everything relates to everything else, so that it's, it's a much more fluid experience. It's a much more satisfying experience for me to keep moving around and it's usually more successful in a painting. This is very interesting because I just started going through this yesterday. This is a new evolution after 40 years of doing this. What I started doing is taking a palette knife and working in and out of the, like I, I swipe it this way and swipe it that way because I don't know where the edges are yet. I don't know what's going to be soft or hard. And it took me a long time to shed the drawing. Because what I found out too, is my drawing's really never that right. It takes a long time, and it takes um, an evolution of the lights and the darks to really know. Like you can't judge space with a black line when you have a three-dimensional object. You have to judge it with the shadows and the lights. So that's why I go in and out, because I don't know yet. And the other reason is, is that hopefully there will be some happy accidents where I won't have to soften the edges, you know, or that it'll evolve naturally. Now, letting things evolve naturally is a very hard thing to do because it demands that you be focused at all times when you're working on your picture and you can't just go, oh, I'll get rid of that boo-boo. No, because some of those things you want to keep in the painting. So it's, it's hard, it's very hard, but the, the more focused I am at this, the longer during the day, the better painter I get to be. Okay. Thank you guys. Does anybody have any questions? <laughs>